Hi, my name is Michael. I'm a filmmaker and video coach, and today I'm in Anglesey! So today I am in Anglesey, um, at a place that I can't pronounce. I'm going to try. It's Clen... Clen... I can hear why I can't pronounce it, but that's where I am. Um, I am in Anglesey on a campsite, and I'm going on a little walk with Pete and Dave, who have just turned up. I got here last night, uh, and I was on my own, and then they've joined me today, and in the background you can see, well, you probably can't see because of the weather, because of the nice sunny sun, uh, you can't... No, I can see it. Hang on. I'm going to come round this side and show you. Let me see. So, if you look just behind me, that's Hollyhead. And I've been watching all the uh, ships going over to um, over to Dublin. Um, and it's been quite therapeutic, to be fair. And we've come up to have a look at this trig point. Uh, so let's go have a look at it. Not even Dave got to the top, did you Dave? So good, yeah, breathe in, that's it, number one rule. Um, there we go, we've got Pete. Say hi Pete. Hello. There you go, that's Pete saying hello. Um, we're gonna go down now and probably get completely drunk. What do you reckon, Pete? Definitely. Yeah, see, so there you go. So this is my little trip to the trig point and to have a look at all these beautiful views around me. So it is, what day is it today? Sunday. Sunday. So it's Sunday, it's Bank Holiday weekend. And uh, Pete is very kindly. So look, let's have a little look at Pete's attempt. So this is what we're having for tea. So this, what are these? Kebabs. Kebabs, yeah. So we're having kebabs. And do you want to see my attempt? You ready for this? This is, this is the world seeing my attempt. Look at that. Don't they look soupy doopy? Now, I'm sure there's, ve you know, vegans watching this going, no, it doesn't look that nice. But honestly, look at that. That is the dogs. That is the dogs. So, Stu, what are you doing? What are you doing? Eating my pasta. Were you draining your pasta? I, I was dribbling my pasta out. That is just, that is just wrong. So, I'm now at Penrith Castle. Penrin. With Penrin, all right. <laughs> Welsh people, eh? Penrin. What they like. I try my best. I Penrin. Penrith? Penrith. Penrin. Penrin. Did I say Penrith? Yeah. That's that's nowhere near Wales, Penrith. <laughs> that's nearest to Scotland than it is here. So where are we? Penrin. All right. Do you know what? These people, they're so up themselves. Uh, so we're going to Penrith Castle and uh, <laughs> and we're going to go and have a little look at some uh, ancient stones. See these two here? They, they'd stolen someone's cards. They got in for free. They were stealing from me. Nah, they've stolen someone's cards. <laughs> I'm legally allowed to be here. They still owe me a fiver. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm telling you, look at him, look at him. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. What's your name again? Stacy. Stacy and Steve. 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 So I'm out with Stacy and Steve today. <laughs> I'm at Penring Castle, there he is. We're gonna go inside, cause it's all open today. And uh, I must admit, it's absolutely beautiful here. 
and uh, I love being a member of the National Trust because you just get to go to so many places like you know it's on your doorstep and you probably don't ever think about coming but when you've got a membership it kind of encourages you to go so we're here today have a little look around the grounds and then have a little look um, inside as well and find out what the history is there you go how are you enjoying it Stacey and Steve loving it, loving do you know what I absolutely love hanging out with Stacey and Steve they're so lovely I've known them for many years and uh, they remind me of my friends Pete and Chaz you're a prick Just got inside here now, and this is absolutely incredible. The amount of oak and wood and architecture that is in this room is absolutely incredible. If you look at the ceiling, look at the fine detail. You just don't get that kind of craftsmanship in new buildings anymore. And it's absolutely amazing to see that it's in such a good condition as well. The National Trust do a very good job. I've always wanted to have a look inside the front of an engine and this one is open. How cool is that? Years ago, men would have to get actually inside the, the boiler to, um, to clean it out and stuff and it's something I could never do because I'm scared of small spaces but um, a gruelling job working on the railway but it's nice to actually be able to see inside the front of the engine. So I didn't know that this place had a museum dedicated to steam trains. Um, I have no idea why. I assume it's because the uh, the quarry down the road used to, what was it? It was made to it seems transport, the goods. transport the goods. What I love about this place is it's just full of surprises. I didn't know that there would be anything dedicated to steam trains and uh, being able to see inside some of the uh, carriages is quite cool. The amount of history that's here is incredible. So we've done it. Stacy and uh, Stephen, how did you find it? <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Did you Very like good. it? Thank you. Yeah, good. good. Oh, I'm so happy I made friends with uh, <laughs> Stacy and Stephen today. They're just lovely. I've really enjoyed my time at the National Trust with them. And uh, St Stacy's just off her head, don't you, Stace? Yeah. Yeah, you remind me of my friend, Shaz. Um, so that's pretty much all I've got time for for this week. If you haven't subscribed, then don't forget to click the button. If you would like to know when I post all my latest videos, then don't forget to click the bell. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next week.